Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, September 28th. The time is 7.40 a.m. and I think the temperature outside is around 11 degrees Celsius. And I'm here at Queen's Park Station in downtown Toronto. And for this one, I'm going to be heading on up to street level and going for a walk south down the entire length of the University Avenue. And that'll take me into the financial district. So I guess you could say this is the early stages of the morning rush hour. All right, let's head on up to the southeast corner. Actually, you know what? We'll just pop out here. So this is College Street. And a look to the east. And it seems to be raining. That was not something I was planning on. So on the north side of College, in that direction, is Queen's Park. And that would be the Provincial Legislative Assembly. But on the south side of College, the street is known as University Avenue. And it's really Toronto's only Grand Avenue, so to speak. So this is heading south on the east side of the university. And there seems to be a number of emergency vehicles. A few blocks south of here with their lights flashing. Maybe we'll get to see what that's all about. I think sunrise today was just after 7 a.m. So it's getting a bit later these days as the daytime itself starts to erode and it gets darker and darker earlier. One of these days, perhaps sometime soon, I'll get out and actually do that sunrise walk. That has been requested by a few different viewers and a channel member before. So this part of University Avenue is known as Hospital Row. And just on the left of me here, we have the Toronto General Hospital. That's the Peter Monk Cardiac Center. And on the right, Well, that would be Mount Sinai Hospital in the center of the screen there. There's also the Princess Margaret Hospital. And on the left, there is Sick Kids. So 
and there's a number of world-renowned facilities on the street. And this would be Gerard Street West. Sick kids on the left. The Labatt Family Heart Center. It looks like there might have been an accident just up here. And this is Elm Street. Here to be sweeping up some of the debris. This is a kind of a weird jog for the bike lane to be making. See there how it curves around the intersection, but these bollards here guide any right-turning cars nice and wide around it. All right, I think I know what happened. It looks like a car was turning left and it found its way into the front end of that pickup truck. I'm no accident reconstruction expert. I'm gonna go ahead and say the turning vehicle is probably at fault there. A couple of years ago, the university was reconfigured and these protected bike lanes were put in. I say that as I'm walking by a stretch where they're unprotected. And this building on the left here used to be the home of McLean's. It's a popular Canadian magazine and publishing outfit. There's Charles Walking Man. And we've made it to Dundas Street. So here's where you'll find St. Patrick Station. And you get a pretty neat view of the tower off in that direction. That 
used to just be an office building. But 37 residential floors were added above it. It was originally a 1968 commercial building. There's also an integrated subway entrance into the base. And they're doing something similar to the old McLean building. And this, well, I already mentioned it's Dundas, it's early folks, but there's a look to the east and Dundas Square would be off in the distance there. And this is the original Chinatown. Now it's been dubbed Little Tokyo. There you can see some of the preservation work going on. And so a big new tower will be sprouting out of there. I'm always kind of a sucker for this view. We've got the Beaux Arts Canada Life building straight ahead with the CN Tower looming behind it. If you're ever walking south down University, I highly recommend sticking to the east side. You get a much better view. Well, if you care about that sort of thing. And speaking about old buildings with new towers sticking out on top, look at that. There's not so much commercial activity in high-rises here. This is one of the lone big office towers. And Zurich Insurance Company used to be in there at one point. And I think Intact Insurance is at the north end of the university. One of the problems with these locations is they're not connected to the path. So a lot of those big companies are more than just a quick walk away from a lot of their, I guess, counterparts that they would work with, like brokers and other companies they might have a subscription policy or that sort of thing with. So it's just easier to get stuff done when you're down in the financial district. There is the U.S. Consulate. The embassy, of course, is in Ottawa. And this is Armory Street. on the left. This is a Toronto Courthouse. That's a branch of the Ontario Superior Court of Justice. And just in behind that is City Hall. So right now it is 7.55. I don't think pedestrian traffic ever gets too heavy on university. But you can make your way underneath and through the old armories there. And 
and into Nathan Phillips Square. I guess the old armory building is actually this one. Well, I'm not entirely sure on that, because this would be Osgood Hall, just on the right of it. look at the candlelight building and it's got that weather beacon up top and hopefully the camera's picking it up but the lights are going upwards which indicates the weather will be getting warmer and the lights are going down that indicates it's cooling off and no change if they're not changing and I think Green means it's clear, orange means it's cloudy. Flashing orange is rain, and flashing white is snow. And it's just orange today. There's a quick peek into Osgood Hall. And that is Old City Hall. Off in the distance there. That's where an old law society is housed. I'm not sure of all the functions of Osgood Hall currently. The subway station here at Queen University was named after Osgood, as was the law school up at York University. There's the Four Seasons Center for the Performing Arts, aka the newer Opera House. And it must be 8 a.m. The bells at Old City Hall are ringing. into the financial district. Well, sort of. This would be the very western edge of the financial district. And on the other side, you have the entertainment district. This is Richmond Street. There's Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. I've only ever been to Ruth's Chris Steakhouse once. It was at a location by the airport. And over there, next to the Shangri-La is Momofuku. place known for its ramen, but apparently they are leaving town. I read that that location was closing, if it's not closed already.
And here we have Adelaide Street coming up. And in under an hour from now, I'll be premiering a new video at 9 a.m. So hopefully I'll be home in time for that so I can join in on the chat. So much of the financial district is connected to the path network underneath, so in colder weather, that's where you'll find most of the people commuting to and from work. This would be King Station or <laughs> King Street coming up. That's where you'll find St. Andrew Station. Jump the gun on that one a little. King Station is over to the east of here. take you through the heart of the financial district in that direction. Well, I kind of like these Sun Life Towers here. I believe they were designed to resemble a pair of waterfalls on either side of the street. I'm not sure if that's true or not. to look over towards the TD Center Courtyard. There's a glimpse of the tower. was Wellington Street and the University comes to an end just up ahead here at Front Street. Kind of merges into York Street and York continues south down to Queens Quay just in front of the lake. Yeah, 
Looks like some kind of old timey work vehicle there. I don't think I've noticed that. Could that be modern construction equipment? If you know the story behind that thing, let me know. And here is the foot of University Avenue. Looks like I got trapped here at the signal. There's the Billy Bishop complimentary shuttle bus. I don't know if you need to have an airplane ticket or not to take that from the island airport. But it stop seems to be right there alongside the Royal York Hotel. Just to the south of here is not the financial district, but rather the South Core district. There's some pretty big office towers that way, like CIBC Square. That is it for University Avenue. And this is Front Street. On the right is Union Station. And the next major street straight ahead would be Bay Street. And if you like this earlier morning walk, at least more than I usually do, let me know down in the comments. See if I can do some more like this. Probably do one of these around the financial district pretty soon.
I'm gonna head down to the subway platform here. I guess I should turn around and take in this view. That is looking west. So I'm going to head down to the northbound line one platform. Well, both platforms. <laughs> Here are northbound line one platforms. But one goes up the university side. The other goes up the young side where I'm heading. It should say free transfer. There we go. my chariot. So I hope you enjoyed this walk. Starting at Queens Park Station heading south down University Avenue into the Financial District finishing up here at Union Station. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. If you wish to support the channel there are links to my Patreon and YouTube channel membership in the description. And I have an Instagram account at Johnny Strides. All right. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you on the next one.